my bathtub. Looks like a purple crime scene happened there. Skip to my loo, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. So I've done a number of hair coloring videos in the past. More specifically, hair bleaching and how to put streaks in your own hair. Well, a lot of people, mostly hairdressers, said very meanly that, well, for one, they would never do that to their own hair, whatever. And two, don't you use a toner, your hair looks so brassy. Well, the answer to that is yeah, but not lately. And I don't know about a specific toner, but what I've always used and haven't used in quite some time is a purple shampoo. What the color purple does is it cancels out the yellow or the brassiness in hair that has been processed to blonde. Now I'm just saying stuff, so that might be true and it might not, but I pretty much think it is. So what we are going to do today is we are going to take half of my brassy hair and wash that with purple shampoo and the other with just regular shampoo and see what the difference is. Now, I do want to tell you guys, Shimmer Lights by Clairol, that is what everybody seems to know and use for getting the brassiness out of their hair with purple shampoo. Well, I have a little secret. For those of you who have tried Shimmer Lights, you may have noticed a very pungent, strong, flowery odor like, I don't know, old lady perfume? Well, I found what is the generic version of Shimmer Lights, and I got this at Sally Beauty. And it not only smells better, it's also about half the price. This was $6.99, and it was buy one, get one free at that time. So I don't know if it's always like that, but I believe a bottle of Shimmer Lights costs about $20. So when I told my husband I was gonna do this video and do half of my hair purple, he's like, how are you gonna do that and show washing your hair? Well, we are going to put a purple shampoo in my hair while it's dry. Now, the reason for this is so the shampoo can better penetrate my hair. Penetrate. And the shampoo won't be diluted with water. Remember this from my last video? The handy knitting needle. What did I use it for? Oh yeah, my eyebrows. Anyway, we're going to part my hair. It's already parted in the middle. Oh, by the way, we're starting. And I'm going to part it all the way down. I have more hair on this side and I am going to just put this in a ponytail so that I look like I'm 12 or I look like a lady in her 40s that is trying to, you know, not be in their 40s. Wear ponytails to the gym. Don't. Please don't. Now I will show you my part, not that part, this one, just so that you can see the brassiness that is my yellow hair. Anyway, as you can see, both sides are pretty evenly blonde, but that doesn't really matter anyway. It's not a before and after, it's a with and without. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how very purple this stuff is. Yep, we just all start. It smells kind of flowery and beachy at the same time. So I am gonna cover this side of my hair and apparently my face with purple shampoo. Now, yes, I mean, no, I don't have super blonde hair. It's kind of a, well, it's dark blonde until I, you know, until I'm done with it. But the streaks that I do have in my hair can become brassy after highlighting it. A little more. Oh. has issues. Oh, and so do I. Okay, I'm gonna act as if I am shampooing. I think I missed a bunch of places. Oops. I want to get some closer to the middle of my part. Fuck for Doma. I can't do anything without getting it on my face. It's on my shirt. Oh, there too. I think we got it saturated 
and I'm just gonna leave a little knot at the top of my hair. All right, that's as good as it's going to get right now. Um, I would read the directions, but look at them. I'm gonna see how long I have to leave this stuff on, and then what I'm going to do is wash my hair with regular shampoo on this side and just rinse the other side out. Probably a little conditioner on both sides because otherwise I wouldn't be able to brush through my hair. All right, here I go. I can't turn my camera off because I don't wanna to touch it. I'll touch my computer with my elbow. Okay, bye. Apply to wet hair. I did not do that. Lather, then rinse. Repeat. For additional brightening, leave second lather on for three to five minutes before rinsing. Um, seeing as, well, my hand's kind of inkling. There's a little purple tinge on them, but it's been about five minutes, so I am going to wait three more. Yeah, that's my decision. And I will be back with hopefully some less brassy hair on the left. So the purple ran out of my hair for quite some time and I just ran water through it until it ran clear, but there were casualties, my towel. And quite frankly, my bathtub looks like a purple crime scene happened there. Oh, and by the way, see that? That's not shampoo. That's a bruise. Moving furniture is, you know, it's dangerous. Anyway, I put a little bit of conditioner in my hair because this stuff says conditioning shampoo. So, and I know we're not gonna be able to really see anything until I dry it, but I didn't wanna just do this by myself. My husband always says, God, you're so rough on your hair. You brush it so hard. I think it's this brush. It's got like a, amplifier in there so every little hair that snaps you can hear it i tend to part more toward the right so let's get in there hot for doma hot for doma is hieroglyphic for darn it anytime in any of my videos when i do that joke Somebody thinks I'm serious and has to tell me what the real meaning of whatever I said was and that it wasn't in that language. I know. All right, now we're gonna wait a little bit because I don't blow dry my hair when it's soaking wet, which it is right now. All right, I'll be back when my hair is dry and out of my face. Okay, bye. Well, I don't see a difference. I really don't. I will tell you this, whenever I wash my hair in the bathtub, I don't seem to get all of the, you know, shampoo and conditioner residue off my hair. So it feels a little weighed down a little bit on the part. I even went outside to see if there was a big difference and well, even a little difference. And I even took pictures to kind of see if perhaps natural light made a difference. But you know what, I have done videos where I say I don't see any difference and then when I'm finished with the video and actually compare side by side or before and after, I do notice a difference. So, do you? Regular shampoo. Purple shampoo. They smell different. But I think they look the same. So I don't know. I have used this before in the past and reading up on it lately, tons of great reviews. Reviews that said it really worked and it was better than shimmer lights, but I don't know. To me, this is worth it just not to have that strong smell that you get with shimmer lights. Anyway, you guys, that's it for this video on purple shampoo and whether or not it works. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. You better have learned something. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye guys.